Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I got a little tidbit for you. Have you ever had a precious piece of jewelry? Something like an heirloom or a wedding ring or an engagement ring from someone you love deeply and it didn't last long because they passed away but the ring meant so much to you. You wouldn't cash it and you just hold on to it and you love it so much, you only wear it on special occasions. And all the other time, you keep it tucked away either in a safe, a safety deposit box. Nobody knows you have it unless once in a while you put it on. Now, here's the thing. Imagine how that ring would feel if it were a human being. That ring would probably feel like you didn't love him, you didn't care for it, you didn't cherish it because it was always stuck in the dark, in the back in the corner in the dark, locked up somewhere where nobody could see it anyway. So imagine how it feels, feeling like it's on the back burner, like it's in limbo, like it's hidden. Nobody even knows, can't even enjoy or appreciate it, wondering what's up with that. And here you are, thinking that in your heart, you're cherishing this thing. That's what you're doing. You're cherishing it. But according to the way it understands things, it's not being cherished. It's being hidden. And it doesn't like it. Well, many of you feel that same way. You feel like God has tucked you away and forgotten all about you. God has laid you down and moved on to bigger and better things, bigger and better people, <coughs> more important people, the whole nine yards. And you're wondering, what did you do wrong to make God forsake you? What did you do wrong to make God not give you a second thought? You see other people getting opportunities. You see other people with doors flying open before them. Trust me, I know how that feels. It doesn't feel good feeling like you're an afterthought. Hmm. Sometimes when you're in a church, you feel like you're the last resort. They, don't, they only call on you when there's nobody else to call on. That's not a good feeling. I know how it feels. Well, you have to remember, there are times when God tucks people away. And it doesn't mean that he doesn't intend to use them. It doesn't mean that there's no value or purpose for you being here. There are times when he keeps the most precious ones tucked away and hidden in a safety, in a safe place so that no harm can befall them because he has to bring them out for special occasions. Just like you're doing with that precious piece of jewelry, with, with that precious heirloom with that sentimental thing of such great value, it has no price as far as you're concerned. It's priceless. It's just so valuable, so special. You have to be very careful. Well, that's exactly what God does with us a lot of times. So I say to you, don't be discouraged. Don't feel like, well, might as well check on out of here because there's nothing for you to do. You have no idea what God has planned for you. I'm not just preaching to you, I'm preaching to me. Be encouraged. Know that number one, God loves you. That's first and foremost. Number two, he's mindful of you. Number three, his promise. He will never leave you nor forsake you. God knows the plans he has for you. So don't be disheartened because you're in a state of limbo. Don't be disheartened because you're in the middle of nowhere doing nothing, all alone, seemingly with no purpose and no vision. God knows exactly why he created you. He knows exactly when to flip that power switch 
And boy, when he starts using you, you won't be able to catch your breath because it'll be back-to-back -back opportunities for you. Remember Isaiah 54, where he admonishes us that he's going to break us out on the right and on the left. That we're to strengthen our stakes and lengthen our cords. We are to prepare for God to use us in a mighty way. So let's keep each other encouraged. Stay in that word. Stay in God's face. Ask him all the questions you want to ask him. You will get some answers in his timing. And you will get a clearer understanding as time passes and as you draw closer to your divine assignments. Trust God. Trust God with your life. Trust God with your health. Trust God with your calling. And trust God with your destiny. God bless you. Be encouraged. He knows the plans he has for you. Amen.